Hi guys, this is Jeremiah with Stone Blue Airlines and today I just wanted to uh, to post up a quick video here and talk to you about the AMA and the FAA and the rulings and stuff that are going on, some misconception. I keep getting everybody like, how are you flying? I'm like, well, there is no rule that's passed that said FPB is gone. What the FAA is trying to do is really hit the hobby as a whole, not just FPV, but as far as line of sight pilots, basically they are overstepping their bounds they are uh, reinterpreting stuff that wasn't initially set up the way that they're trying to reinterpret uh, um, the filings and the AMA is standing up. Guys, you need to support the AMA right now. You need to send in your dues, whether you go to an AMA field or not, send in your dues so that they can fight back and we show support that we are a group and a band of brothers, not just FPV, not just line of sight but we are aviation brothers at heart and that we love this hobby and we love the part of aviation in flight. To me, it really doesn't matter what you fly, it just matters that you fly. Um, I'm not a pilot, I know guys that are pilots that are in this hobby as well, and that is exciting. I mean, if you have a guy that can fly a large-scale aircraft and still wants to fly FPV, that says a lot about this hobby and how much fun it is and the camaraderie behind it. Um, with with the AMA, they're standing up against this, but the FAA is is just taking things so far out of context um, between the goggles and between flying line of sight and what you need to do. I mean, ultimately, here here this afternoon, I have a helicopter that cruised over my house at 300 feet. I can tell you that's slightly more dangerous than my two-pound aircraft that might be over a wooded area and go down versus that helicopter that would go down and kill people in my neighborhood, take out a house, who knows what else. You know, I don't even know if it had clearance or not today. I've never seen a helicopter so low and this came on today while I'm looking at the FAA. I'm not blaming that pilot and what's going on, but I'm saying even the FAA has to stand up to its own. If they're going to blame us for things, they have to stand up to their own. They have aircraft they can't find that go missing in the ocean. So things happen. <laughs> Uh, this is not a risk-free hobby, but is a completely almost risk-free hobby when you approach it from a standpoint of being responsible, being educated on what the hobby is about, how to fly right, possibly having you know having your spotter. Most of the time we fly together, but sometimes I fly solo. But I fly in areas where I'm not going to do damage, I'm not going to hurt anyone, and I'm careful of those things. But guys, we need to band together because it's not just FPV, it's not just line of sight, it's the hobby as a whole they're trying to attack. And this is big business and if they've been letting the Hollywood elites off uh, for the longest time and using the same stuff, they don't mind that because they're getting a little coin back. Um, you know, as business owners and myself, if I'm already paying taxes, why should they also ask and require something of me when I'm going to fly 50 feet around a house and do a real estate video, let's say. I've been up in a cherry picker 85 feet taking photos for a commercial shoot that I was hired to do. What is the difference there? I'm technically flying lower, it's just that I have a camera on something that can actually fly so that they want to tax that. Even though I'm already paying taxes and already paying business license uh, out the wazoo for what I already do as a, as a company. You know, it's looking at it as a whole. Um, I think ultimately this stuff comes down to money and regulation and just again a, a government kind of stronghold that they're trying to push us down. And that bothers me because I'm like, this is a great group of guys all over the world and it really doesn't matter where you live. If you say, hey, I fly FPV or I fly line of sight, we're immediately connected because we love the same thing. And I think in anything that I've been in, um, this hobby is great for that, is that I've got guys all around the country that I've never officially met. We talk on the phone and it's like we're brothers that way because we love the same hobby. Um, Definitely take a look at the link that I'm posting below so you can see what the AMA's concerns are. There's a lot of them. The biggest thing is basically the FAA is overstepping their bounds in almost every area. Uh, and guys, just for those that are hopefully watching this, stuff is not banned right now. They're trying to push things through. So do not stop flying. Do not stop going somewhere and don't be scared every step of the way. You know, we need to stand together. We need to do things and be responsible. The problem is in this hobby, things have become so easy for some, you know, for basically like, like say DJI, 
for example, it becomes so easy to get up and flying that people who are not experienced do not take the time to learn and educate. But that goes with saying with almost every aspect of life. You buy a motorcycle. I know a guy who bought a motorcycle in the same afternoon, did a wheelie and broke his leg and smashed his bike up. You know, that stuff happens. People get in car accidents every day. Almost every other day I feel like I hear somebody died in a car accident. Those are the realities, yet we let cars on the road, we still fly in planes, we fly in helicopters, we go zip lining, we go mountain biking, we do dirt biking. I mean, it's all these things. There is inherent risk in everything we do, but go at it with some education and some understanding. And I think what's happened is the hobby has gotten uh, publicized because of those that are not paying attention. They don't know what's going on. And we're always going to have those in the hobby. Set some rules. I have no issues working with the FAA and understanding some of their needs. Not flying in front of an airport or flying on an airport, duh, that's pretty much common sense. I understand that. Flying over unpopulated areas, even better. Uh, we fly so low half the time it wouldn't matter. I guess we could be considered a lawn mowing team the way we fly around here because we just fly so low. So is that unsafe? Is it unsafe for me to be in a cherry picker filming? Is it unsafe for me to film around a house? No, I don't think so at all. You know, these are just things where a lot of it comes down to common sense and just education. And I think really the AMA needs to also push the FAA to say, come, bring some FAA, FPV experts in, let us educate you guys on this hobby and what's going on and let the AMA sh show the FAA really what's going on. I'd like to see the FAA and the people that are making these laws probably have never even stepped outside of their, their office to see what this stuff looks like, what it's like to experience. I can't tell you how many cool times people come up, see the gear, I slap the goggles on, and they're just enamored. And they're like, I, I, my uncle just recently let him see it. He was like, man, it's a beautiful sunset. And it's amazing. 100 feet up, you can see so much, and the sunset is just so different. It's just a different way of, honestly, just enjoying God's creation, I think. And that's what I love about FPV. I'm in the air. I'm just soaring around, and uh, it's, it's just beautiful. Guys. Thanks for watching and listening to this rant. I hope this educated you a little bit. Read. You've got to read for yourself uh, what's going on so you stay educated. And um, the best thing right now is to be educated. And for these guys that are just posting like, well, you can't fly and you can't do this, they don't know what's going on. And guys, you need to know what's going on before you just start posting. Don't fly this. Don't do that. It's not about that. Um, so thanks for watching here today. And... Uh, um, Get out there, go flying, whether it's line of sight or FPV, but most importantly, educate, educate what it is we do in this hobby. And guys, that's what I've been trying to do with this channel and with my store is that I sell quality products, I sell good gear, and I really help guys to understand what's going on. If you want to know more about FPV, hit stonebluearlines.com, hit the pre-flight, we go through FPV and what it means to set up and fly and do the gear the right way because that's what's important. It's not just getting the gear, but flying, being safe, and having a good time, and then hopefully showing somebody else and bringing that person to the hobby too. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.